Mongolian daughter Shari Busetev says his country is tired of waiting for an outcome of his daughter Altantuya Sharibu's murder case. The case of Altantuya Sharibu made headlines after she was brutally murdered and then blown up by explosives two years ago. He spoke to reporters at Parti Kaedian Rayaj PKR headquarters in Petaling Jaya Thursday after the court notified him that proceedings on his daughter's case have been postponed for a third time. His lawyer, Mungsarul Mijidoj, translates for Dr. Sharibu. He uh, just wants to say uh, uh, most important thing uh, concept of this uh, last letter, what was? In the 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 main meaning was the last sentence of this letter. If Malaysian courts uh, make a uh, unfair, uh, unresponsible decision for this case, Mongolian uh, government will uh, end the relationship uh, with uh, Malaysian. If the Malaysia doesn't handle the case uh, true and justice, uh, and not covering the lives of the orphan children out of the justice, as we are human rights, women's child rights organizations, we will make this case open address in the international level. He has also refuted newspaper reports, saying he was satisfied with Deputy Public Prosecutor Tun Abdul Majid Tun Hamza's explanation for the third postponement of his daughter's case. Uh, on the one of the uh, newspaper uh, just before one day, they uh, published uh, Mr. Sherbu is uh, uh, satisfied for the trial postponed. It's not true. Uh, Mr. Sherbu is uh, just uh, said he received sufficient explanation about postpone. He not satisfied for postpone it. A visibly angry Dr. Sharibu then slams his fist on the table and storms out of the press conference. PKR President Datin Sri, Dr. Wan Aziza Ismail says, the Malaysian government should take Mongolia's message to serve a tie seriously, adding that justice must be served. Malaysian public and Malaysians are not totally hooded, hoodwinked by this, because I think many of us follow the trial and we know certain things are not spoken. Norazin Abdul Rahman, The Star, Malaysia.